Hi, I'm Steve Lacey, also known as the Church Growth Guy. And today I want to talk about Church Growth 101. And that is talking about the four ways that you can grow your church in attendance. There's really only four ways you'll grow the attendance of your church. If you're doing all four of these, you should see your church growing numerically. If one of these is lacking, your church may slow in growth. If two or more lacking, your church may plateau or even decline. Let's talk about those four methods or four things that need to be present for your church to grow. I've started all these with the letter A so they're easy to remember. The first one is attraction, getting new people to attend. The total future growth potential of your church are the people who come to your church. I mean, think about it. How does someone find out about your church? It could be that they were told by someone, and believe it or not, 80% of all people who come to a church and join say it was a friend or it was a relative that told them initially about the church. So you can't underestimate that value. However, one survey this last year showed that only 5% of people who regularly attend the church even invited someone the last year. There are people waiting to be invited, but many of our members need to be motivated to invite others. Now, there's other ways you can attract people. You can use television advertising, cable advertising, radio advertising, yellow pages, newspaper, uh, signs, billboards. There's other things you can use. The thing is you have to have something that attracts, something that helps your church go from invisible to visible. And if you have this planned out in a strategy, if you're training uh, your members how to invite, you'll see a great increase in attraction. The second is assimilation. That's getting those who have attended to return and join. Now, obviously, you want someone to visit your church, but you'd like for them to come back. According to Outreach Marketing, only nationally, one out of ten people who visit a church will end up in membership at that church. If you think about that, if your church had 100 guest families this last year, averaging about two a week, on average, only ten of those families would stay in an entire year. Now there is good news. You can greatly increase the assimilation rate if you have a system in place. As a matter of fact, outreach shows that if a couple or family comes one more time, just a second time, then you go from reaching 1 in 10 to reaching 1 in 4, 25%. That's a 150% increase by getting them to come one more time. There's even better news. Get them to come three times and almost half, 45% of those people will join your church. Think about it. You go from 1 in 10, or 10 couples out of 100, to 45 couples or families joining out of 100. That's incredible. And really, it's not as hard as you think. A, a lot of churches don't have a system in place. So if someone visits their church, they get a letter, a phone call, a gift, something that attracts them to come back. And I've found that churches that have proper assimilation methods can many times see half of those people coming three times and therefore most of those people ending up in fellowship at the church. So assimilation is key. Now there's another factor I think many churches forget about and that one's called attendance frequency. That's getting those who attend the church to come more often. Now think about it. What would happen if everybody who calls your church home actually showed up one Sunday? What if the people who come every six months, or come every quarter, or come once a month, showed up at one time? You know what that would be called? Easter. As a matter of fact, that's why Easter is so large. It's not because a ton of guests walk in your church. It's because those that come sporadically, those that only come once or twice a year, those that come once a month, those that come every other week, all choose Easter as the day they're going to be there, then sprinkle in some new guests, and wow, that's a big attendance. Here's the thing, if a church can plan three or four major events, uh, times when they invite everyone, they can increase that frequency. If you can just get a person who's coming twice a year to come once a quarter, that makes a huge difference. If you can get people who are coming uh, once a month to come twice a month, people who are coming uh, every other week to end up coming every week, wow, the difference it can make. And I find that most churches don't have a system to increase attendance frequency. Doing that can make a huge difference in the attendance size and the growth of your church. The third one, and you probably could guess this one, is attrition. That's getting less people to leave your church. Now, you have to face it, people are going to leave your church. I mean, after all, people die. People get transferred. People leave town. There are reasons people have to leave, and quite honestly, sometimes because they lose a passion for the church. Sometimes because there's been a conflict. And you know what? That can, that can be good if they go to another church where they can be fully involved. 
But here's the thing, you can make the back door of your church smaller by having certain systems in which you can find people and they kind of fall in attendance frequency. You can find others who are backing out for other reasons. There are things you can do and the smaller you make your back door, the quicker your church is going to grow. It's kind of like a tub. If you forget to put a, a stopper in a tub and you cut on the water, if the water's high up fast enough, it, it will start to fill up the tub. But the moment you cut off the water, it dissipates. However, if you just put a, a small something, uh, uh, even if it's not a stopper, even if it's a wash rag, guess what? You cut on the water and it will fill the tub. So the idea is to make that plug as small as possible. Well, I hope this was helpful. I think if you will just look at your church and apply these four areas. Rate your church. How are we doing in each of these? How can we improve in each one of these? How can we have systems set up to help them work? If you do that, I think you will see a huge difference. And it can help your church from going from declining to growing, from plateauing to growing. I think God can use you to make a difference in your community as you reach more people for Christ. This is Steve Lacey, also known as the Church Growth Guy. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.